Shalom to Rabbi David Stav, head of the Tzor Rabbinical Organization. Shalom, good afternoon. So a new government in Israel. Your feelings about this new government, the Prime Minister, as a kippah, he's an observant Jew. First of all, what are your feelings about that? Without being involved in the political uh, negotiation and the, the politics among the different parties, I think uh, without any connection to the politics, the fact that uh, for the first time in the, since the establishing of the State of Israel uh, 73 years ago, to have a Prime Minister that wears kippah and puts on feeling every day and observes Shabbat, I think it's something that should feel pride every observant Jew all over the world. Without any um, connection to his uh, political view and to the political approach towards this uh, government. I think that uh, thousands of years we have been waiting for a prime minister that uh, will um, be affiliated, will be associated with the Jewish tradition and the Jewish heritage and I think that uh, our uh, dreams uh, were implemented by this uh, prime Many minister. people in the, in the observant and the religious community are worried. They're worried because they don't see the Haredi uh, parties, they don't see the Tzionut Atit, the religious national party in this government. They see far left, of course, uh, parties as part of this government. What are, you, what are your feelings? Are you worried? Look, I'm not involved in the politics, and I think that uh, I would like to uh, point out a different approach to that question. I think for many Israelis, the fact that uh, the right wing was in power for the last uh, 12 years uh, and the left wing didn't feel that they are a part of the government, I think uh, caused a lot of damage to the Israeli society. Many of these people go to the army, many of these people pay taxes, many of these people carry on the shoulders the Israeli economy and the Israeli society. And I think that if we don't want to push them away to overseas, to relocations, I think they deserve to be a part of this government. I would like to see all components of society a part of the government because I don't want to see anybody left behind. I don't want to see another Haredim and not others uh, to feel that they are not welcomed and that they are not embraced. But what happens today to certain segments in society happened to the secular society or to the left wing of the secular society in the last 12 years. And I think they deserve also to be a part of this, uh, of this uh, responsibility that the government is representing. So I understand. I have, I'm coming myself with, them, with mixed feelings, and mm -hmm. I know that the situation is complicated. But I think that for the future of the state of Israel, we need all the tribes that the Israeli society is consisted of to feel that they take part in the responsibility and the governing of the state and of Israel. And the, the dialogue that troubled you when we spoke here just uh, before the elections, we're still seeing... Uh Problematic pictures. We saw the pictures in the in the Knesset. We heard uh, Knesset member Litzman of the Haredi party saying to Bennett, "You could take off your kippah." Very problematic. I think this uh, kind of expressions and behaviors, first of all, do not respect those who are doing that. I mean, I, I think I believe he would is regretting what is what he was saying about the kippah and what he was coming with the pictures of uh, people that lost uh, civilians in the during terror attacks. I think that's not proper and one of the most important rules that we are commanded in the way we should uh, approach to kingdom in general, even if we are talking about weakened kings, like Pharaoh, Moshe, one of the very famous commands that he receives from Hashem is to give, to dignify Pharaoh, despite the fact that he was a weakened person, that he was a murderer, that killed a lot of Jews and tortures, tortured many others, yet Hashem is telling us you should, take, you should respect a king. Because if people will not respect or respect king, chaos that will take place uh, instead will be much terrible than, more terrible than, much worse than the current situation with a king that is not a good king. Of course, if we talk about observant king, I think we should all give respect, even, even though many of us do not agree with the way he behaves or behaved. So you're optimistic as you really see the togetherness, the, the, the at least some sort of aspiration to some unity. That's already too much. Uh, to, it's, I don't want to raise expectations. I'm not optimistic in, in that sense that uh, we know that the government is not sustainable and uh, that we, do not, uh, can, we cannot focus what will happen tomorrow mm -hmm. and every day the government could fall, could fall apart and we all know that. Um, I think I'm, I'm optimistic about one thing that the Israeli society will understand after that uh, government that we can survive as a society and having a different government and this sun will rise and there will be a sunset 
and we, this is, the Israeli society could flourish and could develop even uh, with a different government. I'm not sure that this is the best government that the Israeli society deserves to, but that's a different story. I, I hope that uh, uh, God will help us and we'll establish a better government in the future. Okay, Rabbi David Stav, head of the Tsar Rabbinical Organization, thank you very much. You're welcome.